What is up, guys? Welcome to another video. So, something controversial happened, and there's a lot of, you know, purists or Arch Linux out there crying and complaining that need their diapers changed, and I, it sucks for them that they have to be put through something no one's forcing them to use, you know? And if you're one of them purists, get a life. Simple as that. Arch Linux should be for all users, not just you guys that like to type everything out really, really quickly. I do know how to type things out really, really quickly, so I'm hitting on myself in that point. But I will never, ever bash a user for using a script to install Arch Linux. Hell, I encourage it because you get to the OS quicker and it's less of a headache. There's just there's just too much complaining in this life right now. We have a pandemic going on and other things to worry about. So, you know, if somebody wants to use the new official built-in install script to install their Arch Linux, I say go for it. I say enjoy yourself. I say live this life. It's beautiful, right? Don't waste a long time trying to get a desktop environment to work or uh, install a distro. Just have some freaking fun, you know? Oh, God. Ew. Ugh. I almost... Are you on? You are on. I don't want you, Fedora. Go away. I'm busy with Arch. She's my mistress. So let's do this. Hit enter. I'm going to blow things up so you can see it, of course. So we're just going to maximize everything. So this new Arch installer came a couple days ago, and I've been working towards it for this video to get it to you. So when you come to this screen, everybody gets terrified, including grandmas. They're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? I'm so lost. Well, it's simple. You don't type archvi. You type arch install. <laughs> nice, right? And 21 is for US English. I'm going to choose 51 because they have the fastest repos, which is surprising because most of America has third world internet speeds. So, wow. Uh, we're going to choose one because that's the VMware disk. See, it says 60 gigs. And I'm going to choose zero for ButterFS. We're going to leave this blank. Um, I'm going to choose this as Arch. You see how easy this is? Password. Password. We're going to enter our username. Password? Password? Yes, you want to be a super user. Okay, without it, uh, the OS is useless to you. Okay? Oh, my bad. Eh, there we go. No, I just messed up and I actually created another user. Uh, you can create multiple users with that. It's actually brilliant. So there, this is the part where I screwed up before. This allows you to choose the desktop environment that you want to install. So you have five choices. And for this video, I'm going with four. So this allows you to install your graphics drivers. So AMD, uh, FB Dev, Intel, Mesa, NVIDIA, VESA, and VMware. And by the looks of it, you can choose whatever. So uh, let's go with VMware. Now, this allows you to install extra packages, okay? And because I plan on using the AUR, we're going to install base devil. I'm going to type out Discord. We're going to use Git, CMake, uh, Make. Uh, what else can we install here? SDL2. That's a requirement for Rayojinx, just in case you don't know. Um, I don't know. What else can we grab? I mean, I usually only think about this stuff when I'm in the OS and I'm ready to install everything. I never think about it ahead of time. And with the previous driver selection, you won't need to install NVIDIA here, right? You could just hit 4 and it will be installed for you. I mean, that's a plus. I really don't know what else to do, so I'm just going to hit Enter. And I, it's going to go through all your selections. Now, you can copy the ISO network configuration to installation. That's basically an easy one-two step. You're done. Or you can set up your own network by doing this. And I'm going to just choose one because ENS33 is the VMware uh, that I'm using, like the network. And you want to select zero, so DHCP is auto-detected. All right. And time zones, I'm not going to worry about time zones. So this is going to format, it's going to install, it's going to complete the installation, and when it's, when it's done, you just reboot and you're finished. So you have your user account set up, you're a pseudo user, you can do whatever you want. It's a, basically, it's a basic one to smack in the face. 
for all you arch purists out there. All right. You're going to have a lot of users coming in and I'm going to make sure of it because this makes Arch Linux for everyone on Earth. Ah, that's awesome. So I'm going to cut it here. Um, and when it's finally finished, what we're going to do is we're going to come back to it and we're going to see how well it works. Okay, here we go. You ready? We could just type in reboot. In case you don't know how to use uh, Linux. Ah, come on. Let's do this. You could do this. Okay, and sound cards loaded up. Oh my god, it did a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, it did a thing. It actually did a thing. It, it, it worked. So this is us. We're going to enter our password. See where I made the secondary user? Freaking annoying. And look at that. Wow. Vanilla Arch installed using their official installer. And um, I'm honestly impressed. So this is great. I'm very impressed. I am. I should not have chosen KDE. Oh my god, KDE is not good for VMware at all. Let's try to change our resolution. Are you ready? This is where it gets really bad. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little bit different. Boop. So there we go. It's done. It's freaking installed. It worked. I'm so happy. So this makes it so Arch Linux is for everyone. That that honestly feels really good. It it feels really good to to have it for everyone. Wow. I honestly don't know what to say. I am trying to come up with the words. It even installs console, which is brilliant. Uh let's do sudo pacman just to test if we got everything working. Neo fetch. Yeah, NeoFetch will allow you to show off what you've done. Okay. Boom. Damn. Like, y'all say damn. I dare you. Just in the comments below, if this has you intrigued in ditching your current distribution for one of the fastest, most customizable distributions on the planet, just leave the comment damn below in the comments. That'll make me happy. Anyway, I recommend this to everybody. Um, if, if you want to get the hell off of Manjaro, here's your ticket. If you want to get off of every single Arch distribution that exists, this is your ticket. It works. It's there. And I am very proud of the Arch Linux team for including such an installer. But they included it because it's so simple and easy to use. It gives you... Uh, the choices that you need to get it to the desktop and the rest, I guess, is up to you, like installing Yay and things. Huh. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this interesting and if you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here for more Linux content in the future. We have a video coming on Fedora 34 and Dash to Dock. Thank God they updated that. It's not fully finished, but it's finished enough that it works. Um, we have a community Discord where you can come and chat, hang out, and talk all you want about linux emulation or whatever it is and i hope to see you guys there we're almost at 19,000 subscribers so if you are new here hit that subscriber button help get me to 19k become a part of this community it would mean the world to me thanks for watching have a great day and i'll see you guys next time